Hey everyone, MTAST here, and I'm going to be skipping Eula, and I want to give you a couple reasons why, but maybe I'm an idiot, because there are some real big pauses with this character. Before I say why I'm not getting her, I want to go over a few reasons why you might want to consider her. I don't want this to be a negative video, I just want to explain why I am hard skipping this character, and there are some personal reasons based on my account progression and, and different things like that. You have to remember I'm free to play, so that's one of the big factors here, but even if you are spending money, is she even that worth it? I have a few worries with this character overall that I definitely want to address, you know, near the end of the video, but we'll go over some positive stuff as well at the start because I do see some, some potential moments here, and if you're a newer player, one of the big ones is going to be what four star characters are on that banner because it might kind of flip things especially if you are interested in getting her because those are a very important thing to consider so let's get started let's talk about some positive stuff that i'm seeing in her kit i am going to be looking at a little bit of leaked information on her multipliers and stuff like that uh, i'm not going to tell you where i'm seeing it from but i'm going to be looking at it i'm going to give you my opinion but first a very quick word from our sponsor this video is sponsored by Audible, and I'm so excited that they sponsored me again because I've been using Audible for a long time. If you're interested in audiobooks or podcasts, this is the perfect thing for you because you can listen to them while you're on the go, and if you've never started a free trial on Audible, what are you doing? Living under a rock? And if you're an Amazon Prime member, you can actually get two books for free. This is a no-brainer. With Audible Plus, you're going to have access to thousands of different audio books. Whether you want to learn about the stock market, or you just want to be entertained with something comedic, there's drama, there's suspense, there's mystery. Anything you could need, they've got it. There are podcasts and Audible originals made specifically for Audible. And if you've ever been interested in listening to a book instead of reading one, Audible is for you. You can download the app on your phone so you can listen to things on the go or even just bring it up on your PC when you're at home. Now, if you want to help out my channel, clicking the link in the comment section or the description and trying out Audible today would be incredible. Go to audible.com slash mtashed or text mtashed to 500 500. Thank you so much Audible for sponsoring this video and let's get back into the content. Okay, so Eula looks really cool. I'm not gonna lie. I think she looks really cool. She's she's cute. <laughs> she's really cute. Uh, she's badass. All right. She's got a really good animation set overall. I think she's got one of the best auto like basic attack uh, animations in the game. And uh, she just kind of flows with that sword, which is cool. Now, another thing to consider when looking at Eula is uh, she's smoking hot. I mean, wait, what? Now, one of the things to consider is she is cryo, which allows you to melt, which is always going to be good. Anything that can melt or vaporize is typically really valuable, but they are doing buffs to the uh, different elemental reactions um, in a future patch. Now, one of the things that's important here is she is cryo, and one of the reasons I wanted to bring this up is you could pair her someone with someone like Fischl or maybe even Beto, and you could do the superconduct, which reduces the defenses, um, uh, on the enemies, which allows you to do more damage with Eula. Now, her other ability down here, if you look at her E ability, I gotta go nine miles down. Her E ability, this actually reduces the physical resistance and cryo resistances when you hold it down and slap them with your sword. And so between superconduct and that, you might hit like a truck. So that's something that's definitely positive. If you've got maybe a Fischl or Beto that's leveled up and you're using them, that could be cool. Down the road, you know, the road, maybe we get an, uh, an electric Archon. Uh, maybe we get an Electro main character. There's definitely some potential there all the way. Now, uh, I want to talk about her abilities. Again, basic attacks, really, really nice. But her E ability is kind of like Razor. You can tap it to do damage which is going to increase your defenses and your resistance to being knocked back or, or interrupted, which is cool. But then you can slap them and drop their defenses. And I wanted to talk about this because if you are a newer player, uh, if you plan on using Eula, you can kind of leave her on the field doing a bunch of damage. And any character that can be greedy like that is pretty good for low spending or new players. You could put all your resources into her and she can hit like a truck. And that's good. Like that, That's definitely a bonus. If you look at her ultimate ability, she does this big wind-up, does a big slap with cryo damage, 
but she also generates stacks for her Lightfall Sword. So as you keep her on the field doing damage, it's going to build up even more damage and then hit like a truck of physical damage once it pops or if you swap characters. Great. If you're looking for a character to be on the field, dishing it out, doing damage, then Eula's going to be you. Now, the other thing is four-star characters. If the banner has Bennett and Xing Cho, some top-tier characters, maybe they throw an official for you. It would be something where it might persuade even me to wish for her. I don't think I'm going to, but if they have some top-tier four-star characters, it is something that you might want to consider. If you're kind of on the fence and you're like, I like her, maybe that's one of the things that sets you, you know, forward. But if there's really bad four-star characters, you know, if there's ones you don't like at all, maybe they don't fit into your team, whatever the reason is, maybe you skip. You know, I, I don't know. It depends. Everyone has different tastes, but that is definitely something to really consider is if there are good four-star characters, maybe that is a plus in her column. So one of the other things to consider really quickly is Eula... She actually gets crit damage in her kit. So someone like Xing Cho, when you ascend him, he gets just extra attack percentage, which is fine. But someone like Diluc gets crit rate. Ganyu gets crit damage. That is really, really valuable. And so uh, the fact that Eula can get crit damage built into her kit is really, really cool in my opinion. Another thing to consider is she is a Claymore user, and I know that the Snow Tomb Star Silver isn't like god tier or anything, uh, but this is a weapon that you can get for free with a physical damage bonus. And uh, you can get one stack of this, one refinement for free from a quest in Dragonspine. And so everyone's going to have access to that. Maybe you've got a better Claymore available or something like that. But it is something to consider is if you've got maybe some of these weapon materials, like I have three Claymores, I could actually max refine that weapon. Um, you know, maybe you have a good physical damage weapon right there ready to go for her. So that is pretty sweet overall. Okay. I think she's a cool character. I think she's going to hit pretty darn hard. I think she looks amazing. Like, visually, I think she looks pretty awesome. But I'm going to tell you why. I am not going to get her. I have almost no interest in her, and it is mostly personal reasons. I'm going to show you a couple things on my account, and I'm going to show you some things that I'm worried about, uh, even looking at, like, some other four-star characters that have come out previously. As for reasons where I'm not that impressed or interested, a lot of people have been saying that her multipliers are just insanity. Like, they're just amazing and, and better than everything else. And I looked at her multipliers, and they definitely, they definitely do look good. And uh, her ultimate ability has some really interesting scaling. It's got, like, pretty high base damage, but also you get bonus damage based on stacks, yada, yada, yada. I think her ultimate is going to hit, like, a truck. You're going to be able to hit really high. But, like, her basic attack... Not that different from my Diluke, not that different from my Razor. If you look at Razor, um, I was looking at his basic attacks, I was looking at this ability, like the press damage and the hold damage. I'm not blown away by Eula. Now the other thing too is, it seems like Eula's gonna be basic attacking a lot, and I'm looking at my Razor here, who's almost C4, and he's getting attack speed, which I think would be really, really valuable. I understand that he doesn't get a bunch of, like, burst damage the way that Eula will, but... In my mind, I'm looking at Razor, I'm looking at my constellations, maybe I'm going to get C4, maybe I get to C6, down the road. But, I don't think Eula is incredible enough that I care, if that makes sense. I'm hoping that one day, if I need a physical damage dealer, I can get Razor to C6. And if they buff Electra and all that stuff, I think it'd be amazing. But, because I've got this character with a few constellations, and I've got some weapons for him, I just don't know how bad I want Eula. And on top of that, artifacts. I've got, like, no physical artifacts farmed, hardly any of this set. I don't have any great gladiator sets, and I don't have the new set. And so to get her up to speed and outscaling my Diluc or my Ganyu, it's going to take a lot of effort. And I don't know if I've got it in me. I don't know if I've got the resin. As a free-to-play character, it is a lot of effort to get a 5-star up. And I don't know if she's going to replace Diluc and even hit harder. Because the other thing, too, is Diluc can do Melt. He can do Melt very easily. He can do Vaporize very easily with Xing Cho. And with the other characters that I have supporting, I just don't know if she will out-DPS what I currently have. Or it's going to take a ton of effort to make her out-DPS what I currently have. Another big worry is, depending on the characters that are on the banner, 
I don't want to wish for her. Even if they are amazing, I wouldn't wish for her. I, I, think, I, I think I'm at the point where even if this was Bennett and Xing Chou, it's definitely tempting. I won't wish for her myself because I'm in a situation here where it, it's kind of a weird situation to be in. I have a lot of pity built up. I think I'm on like 13 pages. I'm at like 72 or 73. And so typically the four star characters would be really, really appealing to me. And it's like, damn, you know, I'm on my way. I'm going to get a bunch of those characters and uh, I'm going to get a bunch of constellations. But in the case of me, if I do one 10 pull, I'll probably get the five star character and I have to win the 50 50. I understand that, but it's not like I'm going to be wishing over and over and over again on this banner, even if there are good four star characters. And so I feel like if I'm going to do a 10 pull, I'm going to get a five star character. I want to really, really want them, and I want them to be a game changer. You know, like a Dendro character that we've never really seen before. Maybe C1 Gone Yu. I don't know. Something that is going to make my account insanely powerful. And I don't think that Eula's there. I think she'll be fun. I think she'll slot in. But my goal is to have the best account, free to play, humanly possible. And getting Eula doesn't really help me there. She's nice something to collect a little trophy but she's not something that's going to take my account from here to here and so i think i have to skip for that reason alone i have one last thing that stresses me out about eula and maybe i'm i'm overthinking this and maybe it won't be that bad because razor you know he does mostly physical damage and he supplements it with a bit of electro but my worry is if you look at razor and you look at his abilities and you look at lightning fang he gets a bunch of attack speed, and this allows him to do his physical damage faster. Just, just constantly, right? And so, yes, there's some Electro built in, but it allows him to do that physical damage that he's built to, and he's got, a, you know, a physical cup, and he's got physical stuff more often, right? But with Eula, her E ability, when you tap it, is cryo damage. And when you hold it, is cryo damage. And when you use her Q ability, it's cryo damage. And my worry is that you're going to build up a bunch of physical damage on the character, but you're doing cryo quite a bit. You know, there's physical damage here. That whole percentage goes away whenever you use cryo damage. And if you build cryo damage and you're using any physical, then you don't get that bonus either. I don't know. I, I, I just, I'm worried that she's going to be lackluster, and I just, I don't think I can commit. I can't. I can't commit. Maybe I'm crazy. She's going to break the game. I'm going to look like an idiot. But for right now, I'm standing firm. I'm holding on to the primos. Really, you can't change my mind. Anyways, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. And if you guys could, click the link down below. Get yourself signed up with Audible, and I would really, really appreciate it. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.